Hello everybody and welcome back to my Undertale playthrough, where last time we went ahead and talked about Fallout 4 and Undyne's crush, or, well, both, yeah, it was both their crushes on each other, Undyne and the other one, Alphys. <laughs> Take the space, yeah, you got the astronaut for you. So, now that we went ahead and talked to all of them, howdy, if it isn't my good friend who trusts me. Papyrus, you're also Mr. Friend. Office and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for for no apparent reason, you should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Bye. You son of a gun. That was uh, Flowey talking to him. Oh my god, I, I didn't connect that. Okay, I, okay, that's interesting. Flowey talks to Papyrus to send us to the lab. Anyway, we're gonna go to Holland. And we're off. So anyway, continuing on, I was talking about the Fallout stuff. Or, no, oh, okay, some more of the games I've actually completed. Because again, I completed the Fallout 4 with no mods. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs. Oh, I've read that one. Try la la. But the idea was a beat just cause three. Which again, the lag on the mech island. Oh my god, that was terrible. Again, I was playing on the Xbox. You know, you guys ever played a game and you ended up trying to. You go into an area that is really, like, laggy. Well, the main issue you gotta remember is that Just Cause 3 is not optimized at all. Like, if it was actually optimized, it would not lag as bad as it does. Which is the old issue. It's a note from Malthus. Read it. Sure. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you tried it best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You, you guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to face I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm gonna start doing that now. I wanna be clear. This is not anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't hear from me again, if you want to know the truth Enter the door to the north of the snow. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Now we get to finally do the thing we need to get done for the true end. Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. <clears throat> EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Damn it. Oh, I'm not dead. Whoo. Yeah, talking about that. Actually, even mother. Actually playing the games can be really actually intriguing to actually feel the entry number one. This is it. This time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Fortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we'll have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five, I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. 
I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Yeah, you really do feel the chills by actually experiencing this. Alright, the true lavatory. Buy a chip for 25G. Carrying with too many abs. What are you? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Okay, it's not letting me interact. Power room. Okay, from what I can discern, I'll need four different somethings. Probably keys, but it's a fake plant. Alright, let's go left. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. And soon, they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they persist, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Tree number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them this back from the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Some kind of operating team. It's sticky. Sticky. Alright. There's a note. Drain dropped it. Three. Some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Oh, do I need to shove stuff into the actual slots? Okay, you turned on the sink. Oh, sorry. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. I should have brought the stick. Throw near. Take out your cell phone. You can hear the voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. You'll be with us shortly. It fits directly into the slot. Alright. Yeah, definitely is a lot more interesting actually playing through it. And not watching people play it. Yeah, but it's been cleared. This game is a good chunk of years old. I definitely suggest actually playing through this. Entry number 12. Nothing has happened. I don't know what to do. I just keep injecting everything with the determination. I just, I want this to work. Entry 13, one of the bodies opened its eyes. Interesting. It's an empty dog food bowl. It's a bed. It's a bed. There's something in the sheets. Check it, sure. Bed, 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 bed. Seems like a comfortable bed. 
Lie down on the screen. Sure. Hey, there's the white spoon. Mmm, no, no, no. Ah, jelly. Ah, oh, tanks of world. Ah, oh. Huh? Uh, what? Huh? How's that about? This is now a regular system. Uh, Alright, so. Entry for number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around talking like nothing was wrong. I thought they were goners. Number 15, seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to this, you know, to this garden. I called all their families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Number 16. No, 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 no! I guess it's not. Cheryl, here's Johnny. You take it. Yeah, it's an empty bathtub. All right, let's go actually find a spot to place this stuff in. All right, yellow key and the sheets. Uh, VHS. It seems like. Mostly cartoons of some kind. There's a VH stage. Tapes. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Do you watch one? Watch tape one. Psst, Gari, wake up. Mm, what is it, dear? Um. Uh, er. Why do you have that video camera? Shh. I want to get your reaction. Gari, dearest. It is my favorite vegetable. Mmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mamaranian. Ho ho ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamaranian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Dory. That one was funny. Ha ha, I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, Hunter. Oh dear, perhaps it's too... Oh. Oh dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. And we watch tape two. Okay, Carl, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again. Come on, quick tricking me. Ha ha ha. Apparently they had my name. Why is that? Howdy, Carl. Howdy, Carl. Smell for the camera. Ah, this time I got you. Oh. Howdy, Carl. Left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butter of sky butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. We accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers really got him got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um anyway, uh where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. It doesn't sound like that Carl is fun to play with. I 
I don't like this idea, Carl. What? what? No, 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 I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Carl. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll be free. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Yeah, it definitely is interesting to actually talk through it. Carl, can you hear me? You have to wake up. Carl, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You're not, you're the future of the humans and monsters. Psst, Carl, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, no, I said, I said I never doubted you. Six, right? We just have to get six. We'll do it together, right? Oh boy. A bunch of, yeah. Sticky ones? Number four, I've been researching humans to see if I can find their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore has watched them. I don't think he should. Alright. Well, we should probably go save. But anyway, other than that, that seems like it's going to end it up for this video. We'll have to tune in next week for this one. Well, next week for the recording. For you guys, it'll probably be done like about a day. But on that, thank you guys for tuning in. All that jazz, like and subscribe, all that. Comment down below. Other than that, have a great day.